Welcome to Not Like This. Guys. Guys. He did it again. He's still... He's still moving. He's he's still phase seven. But I'm, I'm not going to do it to you again. I'm not going to do another solo episode. Uh, there was probably 20 minutes of hell. <clears throat> no. This week I'm bringing back... Uh, our old Sacklown Radio co-host, J.D. What's going on, J.D.? It's great to know that I get to be on the show when I'm the only one who has internet. And is home at 1 o'clock. <laughs> and who doesn't have a real day job. It's, it is it is nice. Uh, I mean, you got to go vote today, so that it helps. I did. That, you know? Yeah, that was, that was fine. Did, why is it, like, I understand early voting. Okay. It's like, oh, I'm out of town or whatever, this and that and the other. You know. it's, it seems like it's just voting week. It, it's been going in Illinois for two or three weeks. And so it's great. My polling place is literally across the street from where I live. So it takes two minutes to get there. And like three weeks ago when, open, when the early voting opened, I was like, oh, yeah, I should do that. And then yesterday I went, oh, it's barely early anymore. So they have this early voting thing. It's super convenient for me to vote, and I still barely did it early. And I only did it early because I figured there would probably be more lines tomorrow. And then what if something that. comes up? I want, I'm looking forward to the lines. I've never had to wait more than five, ten minutes any time I've ever voted. Yeah. One I, time well, I went to do it early at a place and there was a really long line and I immediately I did I did like the old Grandpa Simpson and kind of just walked in and walked right out and then it went the next day and it was fine. Um I can't imagine waiting two, three hours. I'm glad people oh, do it. Yeah, yeah. I I I don't know if I could do that. I mean, if you live in I live in a very small city. Very small. Like my village, it's it's going to be great. Last time I went, there was literally like one person ahead of me, and they didn't. And of course, they didn't know what they were doing. There was a little little conf, uh, yeah. little little confusion, you know. And they kind of gave me a not not shit, but they didn't seem pleased when they were like you know paper ballot or like digital. And I was like, give me some of that paper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Papers. Papers the way to go. And I didn't know that at the time. You know, I just for whatever reason I was just like. I don't want to fuck around with a computer right now. Like, paper makes right. sense. I can fucking figure out paper. Um, and they're like, oh, gee, all right, you take this, take this cover <laughs> sheet, because we don't want people cheating off, off your fucking ballot, I guess. Yeah, well, I think that's more for people. There are some people who are really weird about it, and, like, they don't want people to see. So I think it's more just for people who care yeah, that it's, much. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's for the, the stuff. <laughs> can you imagine that while you're sitting at the booth and the guy next to you is, like, leaning over, peeking? It's like, number four. What jokes you got for Cook County North Eighth District? What you what you put for governor? I didn't do the homework. Yeah, I got to do I got to do the homework tonight. Yeah, you know it's not that hard this time. Yeah, it doesn't seem that way. Huh? Um, it, it the for me the judges because I I I do the work because I've I've talked to people and they're like oh I just vote no on all of them all the time or I just vote yes it's like well that don't do we that we need some fresh faces we need some new blood yeah, yeah I, I've I've talked I know someone who said I vote them all out every time it's like that's not you get what if they're good at, like what if they're good at the job one and done yeah right and and so I, I do the work on that a lot of them you know it I, I have my mind made up already on certain things so I, I, yeah, I don't who has have to the, do who extra. has the best commercials Right. Who, who's throwing the most shade in these right. ads? Right. And, and I, I won't get too into the, the politics of it, but one of the ads, it's my favorite. It's a, it's a guy who is in office, and his ad is basically, you voted for me four years ago. I couldn't really get much done this time, but you should definitely vote for me again. Ooh. <laughs> and it's like... I like and, you it, know, he had, but you he had his excuses. Say, like, there's that. honesty, and yeah. I because I I think with this guy, even if if you're on his side, the argument is he didn't do a lot. You might like the things he did, but he didn't do a lot. So he he's admitting that. You don't do it that way. You say we no. started a revolution, and right, there's a right. lot to go, and yeah, now we we paved right. the way, 
And yeah, that guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what it was too. It was great. It's like it's like, yeah, I'm I'm real confident in your ability to lead going forward. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, some of these ads are great, and now because it's, you know, I like the, have... I still like the attack ads. They're I still like them real too. funny where they're just like, this guy said this and this. That's a fucking lie. What I like about I can't I don't know who the people are who see those ads and then and then vote based on that without looking up the thing they're talking about. And I know I'm sure those people are out there. Well, so like I'm amused by them. A lot, and... of, to- a lot of times they have statistics. Like they'll say something like, I helped the economy. And then they're like, unemployment is at blah, blah, blah percent. <laughs> they just, just, show, they just show a shit. generic graph yeah. of like, the line going down. I think it, I think it works on people. It almost works on me. And I'm like, Hey, that makes a little Dale. Know. Yeah. You Dale know what? Know. It, it does – it works on me a little bit because it makes me go, well, wait a minute. Because See, that's the thing, though. When they're, when the they're source, overly like negative – Fox News, and I'm like, oh, they, right. they can't do When that. they're overly negative and they say, like, you know, she voted to kill all the babies. It's like I don't think anybody – I don't think there was a vote for that. Like I don't – I feel like that would have made the news if they had the kill all babies vote. Yeah. And so it makes it yeah, makes me yeah, look I it would, up I when they're that it. outlandish. That's when I actually go, okay, they've got to be talking about something because they they never just make it up a hundred percent. Like there was obviously a vote; they voted on something. So what's this thing that they're pretending is about like milk, killing all pa- the babies? Milk pasteurization, <laughs> right? And so and so I it does make me look things up, but I realize other people don't have the time for that. But yeah, these are the the commercials are great, and since there's not a presidential election, you get a lot more commercials for the lower offices with people you've never heard of. I uh, yeah, and, I don't even and know we, what's you know, going on here. I don't right. even know. Like I know Texas, it's a big Texas thing going yeah. on. Like, I don't know what's so, going on in Illinois. Right. Well, so we live in a big city, and so there's lots of races where even though you're in that market, it might not be something you're voting on. So there's a lot of people where I've never heard of the people in the race because it's not something I ended up voting on it just nearby and but these ads are they're vicious <laughs> like he hates america it's like i don't think they hate america and no matter what side i think i think they just might have a different i, view I just of, take it in you know he hates america I, and i'm like well yeah. i kind of hate america <laughs> <laughs> i'm voting for him now <laughs> your ad is backfired so, um, what so sources do you use for homework? Because I think Ballotpedia is one. I, I like, yeah, Ballotpedia is good for, they don't have any kind of opinion or judgment. They just kind of list who's there and what everything is. So, if you're looking for, like, completely unbiased, just like, I need to know what I'm getting into, that's a great place to start. Um, it, it tells you everybody who's going to be on the ballot, you know, just what their party affiliation is, but it doesn't kind of bias it in any way so that, that's just a good starting point um for the judges there's a uh, all the bar associations have they basically just say qualified or not and kind of go by that and the ones that have a few few different bar associations saying don't don't retain them i usually vote no on those people Damn. uh i found a great one okay so this is this is my favorite election story uh, of the year there's a judge, and I'm going to name a name because the story is so good. And I, he actually was not on my ballot. It's a suburban thing. Um, you, I don't know if it'll – yeah, you might. I don't know how – the judges are weird because it's like certain er- – again, yeah. you're in the same county, but certain areas you vote or not. His name is Shannon O'Malley, but that's not his real name. Oh, Shannon O'Malley. Right. Ta, ta, ta. That's funny. You, it's funny you did the accent because that's literally the reason he changed his name. It's me, Shannon O'Malley. He's a Polish guy who ran for judge as a Republican it's years me, ago. Shannon O'Malley. <laughs> didn't, didn't get elected, so he changed his name to an Irish name because studies show Irish people have more are more likely to get voted. I, I don't know if that's just in our area or if that's everywhere. But I love potatoes. He changed his name and is now a Democrat. Running for judge, he's a he's a uh, lawyer, and some kind of lawyer. Basically, basically, he's Saul Goodman. He he's Jimmy McGill. He he just changed his name and is now running for judge. I, so I love cabbage and Guinness. <laughs> I just think that's great. He's like, I'm gonna pick the most Irish sounding name I can, and just that's my name now. 
Why Shannon? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's kind of weird because a lot of people are going to think you're a woman and they're not going to vote for you. Yeah. You know? Although he's running as a Democrat and women are more women are running as Democrats now. So maybe he thinks that'll help. I don't know. I don't know. But Shannon O'Malley is a guy named Philip. Philip. And that's a judge? <laughs> he's running judges, for judge. Judges shouldn't be changing their fucking names. I know. Well, see, that's my thing. It's like this guy's doing some shady stuff before he's a judge. I kind of want my judges yeah, to like, not. Like, that's do bad that. for a lawyer. <laughs> Let alone right. a fucking judge. Right, right. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> oh, I'm going to yeah. vote for like, against you. I'm just going to walk yeah. into the voting place just like that tomorrow, just so I remember. Oh, how oh, <laughs> top of the morning to you. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do, yeah, I did this last time I voted, and we'll get off voting. Um, I wear my... Cause it, seems to, it seems to me that people that run these things, you know, like the volunteers and stuff, right? They seem always seem to be Republicans. They're older. How, do you, how older, can you tell? You just assume because folks. they're all white people? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's it. You got it. Um and I don't like, you know, I'm a young looking, I was going to say young man, I'm not, but I'm a young looking man, you know, and I'm in there with my fucking, you know, I just scream, you know, liberal. <laughs> so, but so I like. But now, last time I walked in with like pretty much wearing my fishing clothes and my uh, hooked on Jesus hat, and they they were all <laughs> they all loved me very much. That's great. They were big. I fans. think that's a product of where you where you live. Um, I mean, it's the I get language, a lot of people who clearly are bilingual. Um, yeah. Because I live in an area where I think they have want that. You know, they need that. A lot of Latino and Asian people. And so I think they get election judges who can are, communicate are. with everybody. Um, but, you know, everywhere I voted, they've always been really nice and really helpful. Even even when they're the old white people who probably are like, ah, I don't trust these youngsters. They're, they always are really helpful. So, you know what? If you are listening to this and you're and it's Tuesday, it's election day, and you're like, I've never voted. I don't know. I'm afraid. Go, because the people there will help you. And if, you know, you get that, that anxiety because it's a new thing, you know, and there's people and you don't know what to do, just do a voice and say, oh, top of the morning to you. I'm here to do my voting. Mm, potatoes. And, and know that no matter who you vote for, you couldn't screw things up more than we've screwed things up two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. I can't wait to yeah. see who, I, who I'm going to be sticking, who I'm going to be putting on my board, and then seeing the results, and they're all going to be the opposite. And I'm going to be like, well, that was fun. Yeah, we did it again. Oh, Good job, right. everybody. We did it again because you probably didn't go out. I love the thing where it was just like women, white, middle-aged, middle-class women are finally coming out, and I was like, "What the fuck were they doing before?" Like, I well, figured, I, I figured yeah. that would be one of the the, the top, you know, numbers of, of people that voted. You know, besides old, old people and white people in general would be middle-class white women, it's like they're coming out and you know what they're doing? They're voting for ladies and people that have their concerns in mind. I'm like, what the fuck were you broads doing before? Right. Does it I, make sense? I gotta that be honest, I don't off. understand not wanting to vote because voting for stuff is fun. Like, it's cool. It's fun to check the little box or if you have the paper ballot to, like, draw the little line. I'm so I don't know. I love drawing yeah. the little line. I know. I don't. I, I I did an electronic one. That they didn't have the paper ballots today. So, oh, so I had to do. I had to oh, do the touch oh, they got you. Well, they got. So whoops, I had a oops, touch screen. Malfunction. But, whoops. But when you're done, it like prints it out on a sheet of paper, so you can check to make sure it's not like, oh, you voted for that guy. No, we we gave you that guy. Yeah, but which, it's like the customer happens. copy of the receipt, not the actual receipt. <laughs> right. Right. So it doesn't actually, matter. So who knows who I voted for? Really. Oh, what a fuck. Yeah, but I got to play with the touch screen, so Crook that's County. always fun. Crook County is what they call yeah. them. Well, that's okay. I, I think they'd scam it for the people that I was voting for anyway, so it's fine. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, if you listen to this on late Monday, early Tuesday, get, get, and you live in this state or all the states, right? America. Yeah. The whole, all, yeah. All, all, all 57 states. Just, right. uh, just get out there. Vote. You know, do what you got to do. Look, use, use, use your – can you use your phone? I thought there was a thing where some places you can't bring your fucking phone in or they try to No, you that. can bring – although Jesus when I was there, Christ. someone's phone rang. And like in unison, all the people who were working there were like, turn your phone oh, off. Shit. So It's not a fucking can, test. Who gives right, a shit? So, 
So you can have your phone, but I think they just don't want it ringing, and they obviously don't want you talking. Oh, I voted for a Republican now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what the fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's annoying. Like, the, yeah, whatever. Whew. Yeah. So it was, it was good. I I voted. Now I don't have to worry about it. Tomorrow I can just watch the coverage on TV like an idiot. I don't know why I do that. I I'm do just it. Trying to decide if I want to be one of the billions of people that. Instagram photos, my I voted sticker. I didn't get a sticker, Dale. What? Oh, they I got, got wait, rated. Nope, I got something. I got a wristband, like you know, like you, like Ooh, the, I'd rather like when that. you go in, you know, you go to a like a concert or something, and you. Oh you over God! Like a wristband. hospital one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, so I'm not gonna he's voting like, Democrat. Burn. He's sick. Yeah, like I'm not gonna wear this thing. Like, why would I do that? Oh, they didn't put it on you? No, they just gave it to me. They didn't even put it on. They just <laughs> gave it to me. You're just like, it was just like beer tickets. Get, get, get a few <laughs> I know, right? Like. Yeah. Sweet. Wow. That's interesting and weird. So uh, speaking of uh, ads and stuff, uh, do you Spotify? Are you a Spotify person? Occasionally. I don't listen to a ton of music, so not all the time, uh, but... I don't pay for Spotify, so I get commercials. No, that's one of the reasons. I don't pay for things Jim's like that. Jim's the only person I've ever heard of that pays for Spotify. <laughs> Jim he's is keeping one. them alive. Yeah, he's the one. <laughs> and so occasionally you got to listen to an ad or two. That's fine. I really don't give a shit. Um, but I heard one today that really made me laugh. This happened about an hour ago. I was exercising. It was um, it was an ad for chocolate milk, and it started in the funniest way. Because sometimes you'll get like a Powerade one or like get protein powder. And I don't know. They, they're they in my phone. They're in my life. They know I'm exercising lately. So all these ads are targeted to me. And it was just like, do you know one of the best? After a good, hard, long workout and you need energy and you need to refuel, you know what the, one of the, the best thing in the world is? And I'm thinking, it's going to be like a protein powder. He was like, chocolate milk. And I was like, what the fuck? are you talking about it's just like it's a mix of this and carbs and it's the perfect fuel for your body and it tastes good it's the who the fuck are you kidding i th that's not how you sell chocolate milk that's not how you but sell chocolate milk it's first of all you shouldn't need to sell chocolate milk it's chocolate milk it's delicious. Everyone should just know that. But I have heard that before. That chocolate milk is a good workout-related drink. What? I've 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 heard it before. What? Yeah. Chocolate I I don't know why. Milk. Don't ask me why. But I have heard people say that chocolate milk is a good good thing. Now I don't know if it's yeah. interesting. Like interesting. I don't know if it's something that's a scientifically like this is great for your body, or if it's just something that people like to do because it tastes well, good. Or maybe it's just them, maybe but. it's just maybe they've been on this advertisement game for a long time. You know, they they had two options. They were like, we can say it's good post workout thing, or or we could, we could say it makes your dick bigger. Which one? And they were like, just do the fucking workout one, Greg. Jesus Christ with the dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but I just uh, I started googling it chocolate milk work and when I got that far you know autofills and stuff so it says chocolate right. milk workout and the second one here says chocolate milk workout myth <laughs> so okay but so it's out there maybe it's not actually good but it's not that's kind of what I was getting at I've heard it before but I guess it might be a myth yeah so it it might be I'm not gonna go into all these maybe they're saying it's not a myth. But it, it's uh, a quick little. Uh, but see, they can't, it does say it might See, that's a bad it. headline then, because people like us who are just reading headlines, you see milk and myth, and go, "Well, it's not real." Yep, milk's been really taking a beating the last ten years. It doesn't yeah. do this for you. It doesn't do that for you. It's actually bad for you because of this reason. Humans aren't supposed to drink milk, and this I'm like, Which, holy. Fuck. I gotta be honest. If you think about it, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Like, should we be drinking the milk from another creature? That's true. That seems a little weird. Let's talk a little video games. Let's do it. Uh, let me, where the fuck did I put it? First off, uh, how's Red Dead Redemption 2 going? It's good. I don't, I, I haven't, I've played the game a lot. I've put many, many hours into the game, and I've done about five missions. Because okay. the game is so big, and I like to just explore and, and Pick see what's out there. I yeah, I get caught up doing that. 
I, I have real bad ADD with games like this because I'll, I'll set the waypoint and I'll be like, all right, I'm going here. It's three in the morning. I got to do this one thing and then I'm going to bed. And then I never get there. Not because I die or I can't get there. I, it's because I swear as soon as you set that waypoint, the game's like, aha, we're going to keep them from that spot. And then that's when all the stranger missions pop up or the random things on the side of the road. Or it's like, oh, there's that animal I need to hunt for another thing. And then I spend 10 minutes trying to hunt this animal and then I can't get it because it runs away or whatever. I'm, and then I, then I never get to the actual story of the game. Yeah, a lot of times it'll like chain together. Like you'll com- maybe complete the thing, but it doesn't feel like you completed it. And it was like a part one of a two, so you're like, "Well, yeah. let me finish that off." And then it's like that really wasn't a one of a two. There was this is gonna be like a four parter, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then you're done with the game. Yeah. Well, and I do know I I read a thing that some side missions will disappear if you progress too far in the story i was just about to get to that so now so now i'm paranoid because i i don't play games more than one time usually i just i don't i don't play games enough i don't have time for that and so i usually play and i want it so i want to do everything that one time i play it because otherwise i'm probably not going to do it again and so now I'm I'm really paranoid that I'm going to I'm going to play the wrong story mission and then all the fun stuff is going to go away. Yeah, I was just going to ask it cuz I think it's uh I'm just going to read this cuz it doesn't sound spoilerish, but uh, according to Forbes, which is where I go for all my gaming news, <laughs> yeah. uh, a, gl- a glitch within the first mission at the start of chapter 2 titled Polite Society Valentine Style could cause John Marston, Abigail, and Sadie to disappear from the camp until chapter 4, meaning you miss out on their plot lines. That's, that's fucking a, that's crazy. A, that's a glitch or that's something... Or See, they say glitch. I haven't had... The, I'll say this. I have not had that happen and I have started chapter 2. So if it's a glitch, I'm good. I don't know the name of the mission. That doesn't ring a bell. I don't know if I've done that particular mission or not, but yeah. I don't... It says, uh, they, they, it says uh, during during the task you take Uncle Tilly and Karen into town where they get into some shit and you. Have oh, okay, them. I did do that one. The bug, okay. the bug appears. Uh, now it's a bug. It's not a glitch. Good job. Good job. Isn't Ford. that kind of the great. same thing? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, the bug appears if you die or fail that task. So uh, so don't don't fuck up when you're out there well, with Uncle Tilly and Karen. All right, well, I did okay in that one. I I, I beat that one. Oh, and that's terrible. All those, so so all check, those. Check. Check this out, sorry. The bug appears if you die or fail the task and choose retry checkpoint instead of restarting the mission from the beginning. So oh. God forbid you do a, a checkpoint retry. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, in the game the game auto saves, but I will say do your own manual save. Because the game doesn't I I don't remember if the original game did this, but do you remember when you would save and then you'd load the save, you wouldn't be put right back where you saved? I don't remember. Do you remember that? that? I don't remember that. So, like, you know, like I mean, you would just, you wouldn't be standing where you were, or you would be. Yeah. Okay. So you know, we both just played Witcher three, and in that game, if you saved and you loaded that save, you'd be like in that spot, mm-hmm. like everything 100 percent exactly the same. Here, you'll be put nearby like he'll kind of oh, you'll, you'll load the game and he'll be like leaning against a rock sort of near where you save yeah it. like a little spawn area or and, something but like if there were some things around like every the world itself won't be exactly the same so like if there's a guy you want to talk to be like oh, i don't want to screw this up i'm gonna save first that guy might not be there jesus unless it's like a main mission type thing so yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really save a snapshot of that exact moment. It just kind of this game or the first game, this one, and I don't I just oh, don't remember shit. what the first game did. Jesus Christ! So, so yeah, so so don't think it, you it, can. It's like it's a living, breathing game, and it's like if you're gone for five yeah. minutes, they're like, "Well, fuck them, I guess." I'm just gonna. Leave. That is kind of how the game is. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fun though, and I I've showed you a couple pictures of the of the of the serial killer. Which yeah. is every game I, I has haven't a found. Killer. I know, and I have not found the next part of it. And you know, the maps in the game, which is, this is this is good. This is not a complaint, but they're kind of hard to know what you're looking at because it's like, oh, here's some trees and a rock and a river. It's like, okay, well, that's the entire game. So I don't know where the next part of it is, 
but I'm excited to find oh, out. I was always bad with that when you find like a treasure map. Yeah. I was like, God, the Jesus. Only... Yeah. The I... first game did it very well, and it was the only game where I was good at that. But every every other game, I'm just like, ah, what is this? Yeah. Well, the first game, like there was that that Devil's Eye rock formation. Do you remember that one? Yeah. It was literally just like the big circle. It's like, yeah, that I can I can find that. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one of those, and it stands out. So we'll see. I did get one treasure map that I haven't really looked at too much yet. Because I'm, you know, picking flowers, and, and by the way, there's a lot more flowers. There's yeah. like over a hundred yeah. plants and flowers. Next this gen, game. next gen flowers. Yeah, and you know, like, you, you know, there's like there's some there. It's like in a fucking cave under the yeah. sea, and you gotta get in there. Oh yeah, and there's there's tons of animals. Uh, I didn't tell you my bear story, did I? No. I have a bear story from from the game. So. uh I'm I'm just exploring as I do, and I'm I'm way away from where I should be at this point in the game, which is always kind of scary, because uh, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I have a gun if I have to kill something. Well, so I'm I'm going through the woods, and it's like rainforesty type woods, and my horse starts to get all agitated, and he's kicking around and stuff, and I'm like, what's what's going on? So I'm trying to figure it out, and there's nothing around, and uh, I'm right by this little cabin that I'm going to go in because I explore all the houses and everything. And so I get off the horse and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll deal with the horse later. I don't know what his problem is, but I'll figure it out. And so I go up to the cabin, open the door immediately. Giant bear in the cabin eats my face. So I think, I, I think I've seen <laughs> a gif of this somewhere. You, like somebody was you, walking down like a snowy hill and there's a little cabin. Well, this one wasn't in the snow, oh, shit, but there are snow. more things like that where it's like, Pay attention to your horse because if your horse, because the horse will get agitated and it'll tell you that, and you have to like pat him or whatever to calm him down. The horse does get agitated if there's a predator nearby, and even if the map doesn't show it or you don't see it, the horse knows. So pay attention to your horse Damn. and don't let a tree fall on him. Yeah, don't do that. There's a lot of fun <laughs> horse videos out there. Oh man! So I was. Th- after you showed me the one of the tree falling on the horse, I was in this this timber area where they're cutting down trees, and they start cutting it down, and I don't know which direction it's going to fall. So I get on the horse, and I start riding away real fast, immediately into another tree. Just head first, the horse into a tree. There's blood all over the tree. The horse was okay, but the eh, tree didn't fall on us, at least. Man. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll crash into stuff more in this game. <laughs> Like, well, you know, I feel like in the in the first game, if you were, like, kind of near a tree, it would sort of, like, move you around it. Yeah. Unless you, like, went head on. No, and this, you will hit everything. Jesus. Like, even, like, bushes and stuff, it doesn't knock you off, but the horse will make grunting noises. It's like, fucking learn to drive. <laughs> and if you go through, like, too much of it, it'll, like, it'll slowly deplete the horse's health. Not, not, not real bad, but a little bit, which is, you know, realistic. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of realism stuff in this game. It looks interesting. I'm, I'm, I've been watching an yeah. occasional you should, playthrough. You should get it. Get a uh, get I'm, a I'm sure thing, and then yeah, I'll, I'll get the the game of the year edition. Right, right. You'll spend twenty dollars on it in oh, a year, yeah. and it'll have liars dice in that one. I hope so. There's no liars dice, Dale. They've got they've got poker. They've got blackjack. They've got dominoes. They've got the the knife between the fingers game. I don't know what that's called. Finger knife fingers. Yeah, they've got that, and I'm afraid to play that one. Even though it's not my fingers and it's not real life, yeah. I just I don't I, I have a thing about fingers. Walk out with that Michael Myers hand. Yeah, <laughs> I want that. So I haven't um, done that one yet. Is there an online mode? Not yet. It did not launch with the game, and I don't know why. I don't do online, as you know. Um, it's they're going to have one. I'm trying to remember if GTA. F- I think Grand Theft Auto Five maybe did that too, where they're like, "Here's the game." Give us three months, and then you're going to get yeah, online. I, so is that – I wonder if that's because it's not ready or if they're just like, play the story, and then when you're all done with that, we'll do this so you play more. I I honestly don't know. Like, who gives a shit if 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 JD finished the game or played half the game or five right. minutes of the game? It's like, get, your, get his ass online. For those right. microtransactions, um, yeah. whatever reason, I mean, they're, 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 they're probably getting it ready. 
stuff and yeah. testing this and because they're gonna have fucking server loads like crazy when they, when they when they yeah do. so so it is coming because I was wondering I was like that's not just gonna be a PC thing is it that's gonna not be on I consoles. don't believe so yeah and so another I I don't know if this is really a spoiler it's out there so the map this time um it's like northeast of where the map ended like the northeast part of the map like black water and tall trees in the first game the map is like east and northeast of that that's where you're playing oh that's but I, cool but i found out that is black water in it some of those places in it black black water's in it hell yeah um i don't know when you go there or whatever i know it's in it because i can see on the edge of my map we can, basically the your gang you got in some trouble in black water so you can't be there so i'm not there but i know it's in the game but I also heard that New Austin is in the game, which is the like the Texas type of state from the original. But I don't think there's any missions that take place there. I think the map is just in the game. So like the deserty area with uh, oh, Armadillo and all those other towns. Yeah. Apparently that's in the game. The map is in there, but I read a thing. I shouldn't read about the game that I'm playing. Because I'm trying to not get spoilers. I'm trying to just get like a feel for things, and then they'll they'll be like, and then this happens, and he dies, and it's like, well, Fuck. one yeah. sentence too far, right? But but it, so it sounds like New Austin is in the game. I don't remember New Austin. But the New Austin's the main place where you start. We're like, oh, like Farland Ranch, man. yeah, like that the plane that that whole big state. Oh shit! That you start in. Um, oh Bonnie. Apparently that map is in there so the map is huge now but is it no here's here's game. here's here's the question is it in like the base game that you're or is it like here's a special mission where you're I, now well, see, in that's, Austin. i'm not sure or now you're I in don't... mexico remember mexico here's one mission right. where you get to do mexico yeah i i don't know if mexico's in it or like maybe the map is in there but i don't know i read one thing where someone said they couldn't figure out how to get to mexico so maybe the bridge isn't there yeah. Which kind of makes sense. It's what twelve years earlier, yeah, or something like that, because it's set in eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, and so yeah, so I don't know how much of the game takes place so, there. Maybe that's for online mode. Maybe New Austin is an online thing. That would be very good. so. You can have your battle royal in that state. That'd be smart. Oh yeah. God, if they did a fucking battle. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption battle royal. Why oh, not? I bet at they this will, point, right? Well, I love the. I lo you didn't do online of the first one, did you? No. It was great. It was very open world. You could play liar's dice. You could do oh, missions. Oh, really? You could do like the, there's mobs of bandits, so you could go with your buddies and you know See? XP. Huh. And, and of course, there was like oh, there's some other. There's another gang. Let's just let's just shoot them. And if you fucked with people too much, you would get a bounty on you. It's like all right, this person's just kind of killing everybody. So if you went and killed him. You got a lot of X. Like, there was <laughs> that's like, pretty awesome. It was it was so good, it was so good. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was great. So I imagine they'll do something like that now. Yeah. If they had a separate battle royal mode or a separate PvP mode, I yeah I wouldn't be surprised, especially since it's next gen and you can do that. Right. You know, why, you know why not? I guess. And and this one, you know, this has the the gang based story, which yeah. you know the other one you were the loner going after the gang so i think there's Challenged. more yeah there's more like team type stuff you can do this time i know they did that in online but i feel like the game is more i'm not kind of set up for that i'm not really liking this arthur guy so far and not, um, not, not like like he's rough now and i'm sure he maybe becomes a sweetheart and more of a john marston type along the way but there's just like he looks generic his voice is kind of generic and i'm just not feeling yeah it. he's all right. Um, it, he's kind of how you play him, though. Like I'm, the, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a good guy. But I a can't lot of the help it. A lot of the dialogue. Yeah, if you want a white hat, that's that's how most people probably will. Right. And well, it the really worked out for John to. John Marston, but with Arthur, he's like, and you still said that cunt thing, even though we saved the nuns. Yeah. Well, so that's that's the weird thing about the game. As you're part of this gang, you're not good people. You rob things and kill people. Like you do bad things, but all the morality stuff is kind of set up for you to be the good guy like you your your honor level goes up whenever you do a good thing and when you do good things you get discounts at stores which is i think the only way it matters 
But so I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like it, the, the game wants you to be a good guy, but you really shouldn't. He shouldn't be, you're... and he definitely shouldn't be at the end, which I assume, and I haven't read anything, this is just me guessing, and probably very accurately, I'm assuming John Marston fucking shoots his fucking head off, right? Because this guy's not in the first game. Right, that, okay, so I couldn't remember. He's not in it in any way. Like, he's not even mentioned, right? I don't think this is so. A, this is a new character they made that they never even yeah, talked about before. Slipped him in. Yeah, that's interesting. Unless, unless maybe it's like he like he has like a come to Jesus moment where he just leaves. I'm going to Europe and I'm going to be H H Holmes. It's like whoa, we didn't see that shit come. Yeah. What a fucking twist. Yeah, and obviously I have no idea how it ends. I will say the dynamic is interesting because he's kind of like uh, he's they say he's like a son to Dutch. He you know was taken in when he was young by Dutch and one of the older members of the gang who I'm sure will die in this game because I don't remember him from before, and they even make jokes about how he's old. And the old guy always dies in the game or oh, the yeah. movie. In his arms. Um, so he does one last heroic act, and then he dies. Um, and there's a, there's other members of the gang that I don't remember from the, the original, but, but Williamson is in it. Bill Williamson in it. Yeah, Bill Williams. And, he, and he's an asshole. Oh, yeah. So he, like, it's great because there's a, there's a dynamic set up with Arthur and the gang members. There's some of them, he's cool with them, and then you can kind of – you can either – go either way with it but some like just the the dialogue and the cutscenes. it's like oh i don't think they like each other and marston and arthur are one of them where it's kind of iffy uh but williamson doesn't seem to get along with an old guy called uncle who's it's kind of a drunk don't get along with him so you know i'm always jerks to those guys because i feel like i'm supposed to be yeah man um so yeah i'm gonna i can't wait to finish these playthroughs because I'm curious about I'm curious about the ending. Because the that's mother, not, that's the mother, not gonna ruin it when you play it eventually. No, no, that would no. That way I will know how to play it. Like if I know he gets on a fucking okay. boat and bails, it's like well I'm gonna play him as that kind of character. Yeah. If I know he gets you know double tapped by Marston, I might play a black hat at that. If that rate, it's like well, yeah, I'm gonna that's go all true. in. I'm gonna go all in. There. Right. Fuck it. So I'm gonna deserve my double tap. Uh, there you go. So yeah, no, no that, that that won't bother me. And plus, there's gonna be so much stuff. You yeah, know, it's about the journey, and it really, it really, it really, will be, it so. really is. Because I'm having a lot of fun playing it. And like I said, I'm I haven't done very much of the story. I'm I've done a bunch of side things, a bunch of the stranger, you know, random events that pop up. Uh, some things. There's a lot more. I won't say a lot more because I've only come across a couple, but I haven't played that much. There are more. things things that don't show up on the map they don't pop up as stranger things it's just a thing you have to interact with the living world and stuff happens i don't know how important it is i don't think it will change the result of the game in any way but it's just a thing to do where yeah you, I've, I've seen some things like that you, know, you go to the same couple characters like every couple days and what they're doing progresses and you can interact with how they're doing it and i'm sure how you interact with them will change the ultimate course of things. I mean, generally, if you kill them, it won't continue. I try not to kill random people um, because I like to see what happens. It's like, well, if you kill them, that's over. So I advise you also not to just go killing everyone because you never know who is like kind of important or who might be doing something that you can follow along with. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Can't wait. Four yeah, years, I sure four did years. stop playing the wrestling game once this came out. I, I, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you did. Yeah. So other video game stuff. Uh, have you have you seen this? The BlizzCon, which is the Blizzard company that makes the World okay. of Warcraft and other games. Did you see their Diablo thing? Which no. Is, everyone can't what stop talking about this. So you're not a PC guy, so you're like, what is it? Right. What is all this shit? Uh, but Diablo is a like it's it's, it's a game. It's a game that's existed. Uh, Jim's, yeah, I'm, Jim's. I'm familiar with the game. I have not played it, Jim's but I am familiar. Username with it. on. Uh, uh, some of the, the video games we play is based off this game. So Jim's a fan, but people love Diablo. Diablo 2 was okay as well. And this is years and years and years and years ago. Then they came out with Diablo 3 a handful of years ago, and that wasn't very good. So people have been just fucking chomping at the bit, just waiting. They're going to do a, a good Diablo 4. Or if you want, you can just remaster Diablo 1. We won't fucking, you know, 
argue about that. So that's BlizzCon, and the guy's up there, and he's just like, and now we're going to talk about Diablo. Everyone's just like, mm, yeah, here we go. Comes. It's just like today. It was. It's such a special time in our world where we can interact with everyone so easily on our phones. And everyone's like, "Don't fucking do it! Don't say what you think you're gonna say." It's like Diablo Mobile will change the. And everyone's like, "Fuck! Fuck you!" No, <laughs> no it's it. The video is great because it sucks the air out of the room, and they play a fucking little cinematic like here's what it's going to look like and it won't look like that at all because it's a fucking mobile game right. and they do a Q&A after and people are just fucking like tearing them to shreds they're just That's... like is this a, like early April Fool's joke or something <laughs> and like the one guy's just like what because like, like they were understanding people were getting hot about the phone thing and the guy's like right. what don't you people have phones and that's not how you respond to that. No, and that's also <laughs> not what people. Okay, so I don't play. Do you play any mobile games? I'm I, not talking I, like Candy Crush type. I'm talking like real games because I'm assuming. Oh, no. Okay, I have some like dick around games where if I'm in like a waiting room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like wordscapes or something. Uh, yeah, or, I have, I have like a, I think it's doo-doo. quarterback flick where I'm just like throwing touchdowns. Oh, uh, okay, while. but not like. So I don't know what the technology is, but I'm guessing it's not quite good enough to play a game like Diablo. No. And so they're going to make it. They're, so they're going to make it not like Diablo. And even if it was, that's not like how you want to play it's a so game. So small. Like I've seen. Yeah. I've seen. I have played a bunch of mobile games, and it'll be like a platformer or some games that we've played in in our youth. And it'll have like a little section on the side for a joystick, a section on the other side for the buttons. And guess what? That's like 50% of the screen already. <laughs> and you can't see the character. It's like the, yeah. yeah, it's garbage. It's garbage. It's not for that. So, yeah, people... Yeah, you can't hype... So, I'm, I'm guessing... I, I did a quick little Google thing here. I'm guessing people were anticipating a Diablo 4. That's what they were thinking was going to be announced, right? Like well, they, were, I think... they were like, oh, a new Diablo is coming out. And then so, so people got their hopes up for a new or, like you said, a remaster. I think it original. was the remaster because I think Blizzard even said, like, don't expect Diablo 4. So, so they did try to temper expectations before the announcement. Well, yeah, but it, they did such a woman thing. They're like, okay, it's not Diablo 4. It's Diablo One Remastered. Now that now that's where our expectations are. So uh... they just they fucking just branched it off over there instead. And, okay. Yeah, because I game. almost whether or not the game itself will be good, I almost don't want to blame the company because this happens a lot and it happens with video games a lot where a company will be like, hey, we've got an announcement for a thing, we think you guys will like it, and then the community gets together and they start trying to figure out what it is and then they all decide, well, it's got to be this, and then they get their hopes up, and then when the company's like, no, it wasn't that, we never even said it was that, it's like you can't really blame the company for everyone getting disappointed. With the yeah. thing they never promised. Well, it's it's such a like the people that like this franchise really like this franchise, and it's such a a big thing. Like uh, like Skyrim. If those motherfuckers at Bethesda were like, we've got a Elder Scrolls announcement, and we're thinking, oh shit, you know, a, a new Elder Scrolls game, uh, and they were like, it's Skyrim Mobile. It's like none of that's right. Yeah, we didn't ask for this. You, you you shouldn't have done this. That's not how the game. Like it's just wrong on every level, and right. it's it's a money grab, and obviously people can see that easily these days because it's what mobile games are. Right. And yeah, fucking idiots, fucking idiots. Yeah, might as well put the the time and development effort and money into the game people want. I just I just think like, do they hate the guy that they had to send out there to do the the comics? <laughs> do you think they, they had knew? to have known? They had well, to have known, yeah. and you have to have some things like if 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 you feel the energy in the room drain, go don't to, don't criticize their phone. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't ask this, them if they're too poor for phone. Don't get aggressive. Yeah. Like have some lines like, and we know that not everybody is a mobile gamer, but guess what? I'm not supposed to say this. We are working on more Diablo content for PC. Talk to you soon. Yeah, have a good night. Are, like you, like leave right. them with you know. It's like have this be maybe a side thing, but you can't be like this is our big dong. It's like no, that's a little dick. Yeah. Well, that makes me think they 
didn't expect a bad reaction and they were not prepared for it. And the guy they sent out there, he was probably excited. He's like, this is going to be great. I'm going to get cheered. He's like dreaming of like, you know, everyone throwing flowers at him or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking tidy whities at the front. Right. Yeah. Gross. (laughs) (laughs) And that's, that's not what happened. Also, video game stuff, uh, Destiny 2 is a video game, and that's free to play for the next couple weeks, I believe, if, if you, uh, I don't know if it's on a console free, but I know it's a, if, if you're a PC person, it's free for the next couple weeks, I've been playing that. I played Destiny 1 for a little bit, it's uh, very grindy and repetitive, beautiful, silky smooth, and so is this one, it's, it's, it's the most generic storylines and shit, um, it's it's just very in the PvP. Holy fuck, uh, because they have you know control points and team deathmatch as well. And it's it's such shit. I hate the PvP in Destiny 2. The story mode with a friend is kind of fun. I'll give it that. It's it's hilarious to punch aliens and just kill them in one punch. Like the, the, <laughs> the, the melee in this game is ridiculous. I'll just run up to a fucking giant and just like I'm punching you in the face. <laughs> And that works? Yeah, it's like, oh, I had to punch him twice. Uh, It's great. It's hilarious. Um, But yeah, Destiny 2, it's it's a very well-made game. Runs well. Silky smooth. But it's, fuck, it's so generic and grindy. I just can't do it. I've been calling it Space Puncher. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds like a fun game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at pictures. This is interesting. It's very um, colorful. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the like mechanics are cool. Like you have a, colors. Yeah, you have like a double jump, like fly sort of ability. Like all that stuff's really good, but when you do it again and again, it's just no, it's just no, no bueno, no bueno. Well, I, I guess since you know we've got JD here. By the way, JD. Yeah. This is episode number forty-four. Nice. And then, and then the excess that's just a number, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I like that. What are the odds of that? Right. But it, uh, it well, seems good. Seems, jo- good. Good job, Jim. Moving without having internet security. This is just good job. A big Xfinity conspiracy. <laughs> right to get me back on the show. Got to talk some wrestling here. All right, let's now, do that. Last week I talked to Evolution. Uh, there's really not too much to talk about this week, except for, I guess, Crown Jewel, Mm -hmm. which was, which was Friday, and it was all right, it was just, and you didn't even watch it, though, did you? No, I was just gonna say, the funny thing is, I'm on the show, you're gonna talk wrestling, it's the one wrestling show I didn't watch. Did you see any streamables or read anything about it? I, Did you I, see Shawn I, Michaels do the moonsault, land on his no. fucking face because Kane and Undertaker are <laughs> bad? I I didn't see any clips or anything. I know what happened. I know that a McMahon won a tournament he wasn't even in. <laughs> yeah, I know. fucking hilarious. Yeah, I know that <gasps> the, the fake world title was won by a guy no one wants to see and who doesn't even really work for the company. Man, I oh, don't. Yeah, okay, let's shit. put aside the fact that the the whole murdering of the journalists, they shouldn't have done the show thing. We can we can put that aside. Uh, yeah. The show yeah. itself, I don't understand anything they did on the show. They, or like, like I don't, they, I don't understand the, what they, what why they're doing the things they're doing. I don't understand it either. Here, here's what's mind boggling about it. The first Saudi Arabia show. I think it was good or interesting. I remember it was very botchy, but they put a lot of effort into it. This yeah. one doesn't seem to be the case. And I and what happened uh, like Evolution kind of felt that way cuz they didn't really book any matches. Well, no, well, you know, well the problem is when you have three pay-per-views in a four-week span, you can't well I, I, actually you could build all of them if you yeah, it's easy. take your chain job them, seriously. Chain them up. But but you can I can understand why they and especially when evolution was not, you know, planned that far in advance. Yeah. It wasn't far enough, yeah. but it's not they they only did it because of Crown Jewel. Yeah, well when evolution is, when I'm watching evolution I'm like, yeah, this this doesn't seem to have been a lot of effort in this. I'm thinking because of Crown Jewel. Because right. all their all you know all their yeah. thoughts and prayers and efforts are going into Crown Jewel because they have money. Got to get right. that murder money. 
And then I'm watching it, and I'm like, what are you guys doing over there then? Yeah, well, so you didn't really care for Evolution as much as I did. and there I think were a couple I think matches, general, that was about it. I think general consensus was that it was very good. I'd say um, good. With a couple of very see, good I, matches. I love, I did, there was nothing on there I didn't like. But I will agree that the build was terrible. That's a lot a of the matches were just like, let's just throw it on there. But if you watch the show by itself, no context... I thought it was very good. And I realize that you don't necessarily do it that way, but I thought the show well, itself as a, as a wrestling show was well done. They pulled it, they pulled everything off. You know, I don't think the main event should have been the last match, oh yeah, yeah, but, that's definitely stupid. but I understand why it was he- headlines. But, and that, and that, and that should have been the case for this one, the crown jewel. Yeah. Cause I was like, Oh, you're doing a tournament. This is just wrestling with storylines all taking place tonight. Okay, he's got a leg injury that's going to carry over to the second round. All this all this kind of shit. You can definitely do that. And I really didn't. No, and then you had and... Shane McMahon. <laughs> Shane McMahon. And The Miz, man, he's good. Because uh, there's a heel-heel fin- uh, finals with Which Dol- him and Dolph weird. Ziggler. And I was like, that's bad. And then, yeah. you know, of course, you see why. Because there's about, there's about to be a face going against right. one of the heels. and But, you know, so they start the match, and Miz gets, you know, hurt, you know, quote-unquote. And he's fucking sold it so good. He's, he's a very good actor. He's an A-lister for a reason. Um, so it's like, oh, no. They, they, and you know what it reminded me of when Miz is hurt and they have, like, we have to cancel the match and the title's online? I was like, oh, shit, Hulk Hogan is in the building. Oh, that would have been hilarious. I was like, if they WrestleMania 9 this, I'm going to lose my fucking life. <laughs> that would have been great. I mean, not great. It would have been terrible, but great. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't under... Okay, so I still don't understand why you go heel, heel. Why don't you have a bait? Because, okay, you don't want the heel to do the injury spot because now people just have sympathy for the Miz. Yeah, people were very concerned. So, so why don't you have Ray? Because he, he beat Ray to get to that, right? I think or so. Jeff Hardy. One I, of them. They're the same person. Um, I think it was Ray he beat in the semifinals. Why don't you have Ray win? Everybody loves Ray. Have Ray do the injury thing, and then have Shane replace. I if they're if you're gonna do that, I don't know why you do that I anyway. I honestly think they wanted Ray one and done because he has the cross tattoos. Oh. They were like, get him out there, get the pop, do the thing, give him the fuck yeah. out. Like he they didn't wear- make him wear a shirt. They, uh, he, he did wear a weird kind of a like onesie. Like that bodysuit that he used to wear? But he still has so many tattoos that you yeah, can still see. And, like he wore, yeah, and he his wore, mask usually he, has he a cross wore a modified it. mask. Oh, did he? Yeah. Uh, oh. His gear, like sometimes he has it on his pants, not these pants. Like So I think they just kind of wanted him. He got his payday, all that kind of shit, and they got, they got him the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... It was all gross, I man. Renee, Renee Young's wearing a turtleneck up to her fucking nose. It's gross. Yeah, I th- I kind of feel bad for the employees there who because they're asked the question, you know, why why are why are we even doing this show? And like, what are they gonna say? Do, like they say there's different points of view in this world. That's what well, Seth Rollins but, said. But see, I don't think that's the right thing to say either. I think what they should say is, I work for this company and I need to have a job, so that's why I'm doing this show. No one should be doing. Oh. I mean, some of them might not care that much. Like, they just might not be engaged with what's going on in the world. So they're just like, whatever, I'll have to go do the show. But, man, once Cena and Brian pulled out, I feel like pretty much everybody could have pulled out. And it would have been okay. Yeah. Although maybe not. Because knowing knowing that company, they would have fired whoever the lowest guy on the oh, yeah. – yeah, on the yeah. wrong they can't who, go. All, they can't go to fucking Saudi Arabia with Zack Ryder in your co-main event. You know, like right. they, they would have. And you know, they, yeah. they they're good at putting pressure on people. So right. Yeah, Crown, Crown Jewels. Uh, it was it, it was weird. I love the tournament aspect, even if the booking was weird and some of the matches were short. Although I did under understand that. Yeah, you you can't have all twenty minute matches in a one night tournament. It was hilarious for the Miz to get hurt. And Shane's like, no, 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 and the, it was it was so good because the 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 refs like cancel it, you know, he's he's done. We're gonna have to give the title to, to Dolph or whatever the fuck. And the announcers, you know, grabs the mic and he's just like, I've been informed by the referee, and your winner. And then Shane, you know, grabs the mic and he's like, No, we're not doing that. I'm, I'm in it now, which is such <laughs> bullshit, obviously. Well, and the announcers 
we're like, what the fuck is he <laughs> doing? Because this is a, right. like he's supposed to be a face. Obviously, I think yeah. they're going to be turning him heel because of his. Actions. I heard that, yeah. But at the time, like this is like it got a pop, and and this went over like fucking gangbusters live. So it's like, okay. I, I mean, I guess you know who's where are the assholes, but it was it was so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, because like it has. To, uh, Obviously, they're planning for a thing. I, I'll give them credit for that. Whether it's going to be good or not, they weren't just like, oh, let's have Shane win it. Like, they're planning something with him. Right? We can agree on that? Yeah. Well, like you said, a heel turn. I'm, again, I'm not oh, saying yeah. it'll be good, but they have a plan. But from a logical standpoint, why wouldn't Shane be like, well, our SmackDown guy is hurt. We have, who I don't know, somebody who's there. In the back, he's going to replace him. That would that would be better. Well, like you like do the replacement, but you make it an actual wrestler on the roster. Yeah, but you. I mean, this is part of the 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 heel beginnings. Yeah, ego, I guess. I don't know. I don't like. I don't. It, why and is it bad? Him, to know? him fucking celebrating after he won, just running around. I might have to watch that. I don't great. have interest in the show, but <laughs> I might so have to watch because you told me how. It... <laughs> oh, that's great. And then the main the main event was uh, the old men. Grumpy old men. Yeah. Taker and Kane against Triple H. And uh, let's see the other guy. Think. Shawn Michaels. Yep. Shawn Michaels. So real quick, because, you know, everybody knows these guys are all old. Here's a here's a fun, fun thing for you. Do you remember back 20, 20 years ago or whatever when they were doing the hardcore title and Patterson and Briscoe got involved? You know, when they were doing the 24-7 and random people would win? Mm-hmm. Do you remember when Briscoe won? I think so. Okay. He was 53 years old when he was doing that. Oh, and he was supposed to – they, they were painting yeah. him as like the oldest person to ever Right. Live. Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, 53 years old. Yeah, Triple right H, now. 49. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Kane's right around 52, isn't he? I think 50, so. 50 also. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a different time. Steroids. <laughs> It, no, it is a different time because you even look at the. Health. I mean, AJ AJ Styles is forty. He's fucking. Amazing. And back, do you like? I, I love doing He's this amazing. because it's like, man, everyone seemed old back then. Do you remember when Jake Roberts came back for that little run and like when he like wore the shirt? Yeah, and he was he was out of shape. King and of the back, ring. I think he was only like thirty eight then. Jeez, yeah, well, it's his lifestyle, you know. <laughs> right. Oh, for sure. But you know, like AJ John Cena. You know, all clean, those clean living. They got yeah. the best scientists and doctors and oh, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of reasons for it, but it's just crazy to think like yeah. Jake Roberts seemed like he was a hundred years old back then, and now AJ yeah. is flipping around the ring. And I mean, he's lost a half step from a few years ago, yeah. but he's also forty. I think and, like he could wrestle. Eight, Chris Jericho is going to be fifty. And yeah, he, that's the crazy one to me. Yeah, it's that it's that DDP yoga and the vodka. <laughs> um, yeah, but like Jake Roberts was just like eating cigarettes for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I imagine he lived like Charlie from It's Always Sunny. Like, yeah, you know, like definitely. eating urinal cakes and like you know living on bathroom floors. Yeah, and so yeah, fifty three. These men are. I honestly, I honestly think Briscoe at fifty three probably could have had a better match. Than, well, then Briscoe he, he could have performed. Better than Taker and Kane. I thought Triple H and Sean did great. Sean, yeah, well, very, well, Triple H very is, good. Yeah, he's still yeah. around. He's still he's still kind of semi-active. And Sean, yeah, do you have any, did you have any doubt that Sean would would bring it though? Absolutely. Did you? And here's See, why: I... every time they wheel this motherfucker out, he looks worse and worse. He's got the the, the Matt Hardy bow legged walk. I'm like, he's his body's. Well, that's that's just the cowboy boots and the and the jeans and. And I was like, if he tries to do his, you know, kip up, it's gonna be sad. And he did it. And I, like, I saw him building to it, and I was like, oh god, he's gonna fall on his ass like I do when I try. It. <laughs> but see, first of all, Sean's a worker, and you know he's working how old he is all the time. So, like, when he like, you know, he comes out and he'll like do his strut, and then he'll like hold his back. He's faking it. He he's making himself seem old when he's not. Because, and not only that, but Sean isn't going to try to do a thing that he doesn't know he can do. So I'm, yeah. like, I'm, I'm sure and, and, and he's, he's always as... And he's always at the PC. So, I, right. you know, he's, he's yeah, keeping he's up. Training there now. You know he's doing moonsaults there. Right. It's, so it, it's, yeah. 
Yeah, We're still so seeing I'm, him set up for it. You know, you have that moment. It's like when if Brock Lesnar goes to the top <laughs> of a shooting star, yeah. you're like, oh, like, oh, oh god. Oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, especially because it became obvious during like the middle of this match. Triple H is titty pops. Um, yeah. Poor Triple H. I mean, not really. No, whatever. Because of Triple the fucking H. steroids. Yeah. Same but thing it, happened it, to The Rock have... and yeah. Cena. <sighs> The pecs right. don't like steroids. <laughs> no, well, no, and Triple H has had the quads blow up on him. Like yeah. he just has this thing where it's like, you know, that doesn't happen to everybody else, and they all are working hard and in shape, and they're doing the things you're doing. Why? Do, why do your muscles explode every now and then? <laughs> so he and the spot that where it happens, it's basically the old kind of like the Ric Flair spot. Where you were in the, the turnbuckle where he gets Irish whipped and he does a little, the flippy, flip, little flippy, flippy over. Right yeah. Yeah. It, it, and it was weird because Sean was already there. Like they Irish whipped Sean into the corner and then they Irish whip Triple H into the corner. And Triple H does the little flipperino. And it looks cool. You know, it, it looks like, you know, it takes a nice solid bump. Doesn't look like an injury bump, but it, wa- it was. He's on the outside of the ring and he's fucking grabbing at it and he's like, motherfucker. Fucker, son of a bitch. And he's telling Sean. And Sean, Sean, they, these old men didn't give a shit about kayfabe or being quiet. They're just having <laughs> no. full-blown conversations. He's like, oh, your peck ripped, huh? Fuck. I'll well, tell I'm the okay others. With that. Yeah, oh, I know. Well, that's not good. Like, I'm okay. He, it's a tag match. So, like, that's what you would do. You would be like, hey, man, I'm hurt. This is all you. Oh, yeah, that's that's def- I. <laughs> but if you hear Sean going like, hey, hey, take her. He's hurt, so we're going to have to change the plan. That's not good. I mean, that's what Sean did when he gets rolled back in. He's just, he tells him, he's just like, uh, uh, Triple H tore his, or Hunter tore his peck. And Undertaker's like, Hunter tore his peck? <laughs> 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 oh, um, so, now, so now Sean has to work, like, the next 10 minutes, which, by the way, the match itself should have only been 10 minutes. Right, so they didn't cut any time off the match, which is what you should do, but these old men want to go out there. What they, how they, let, me, let me guess. They went 22. That's probably right. Let's uh, crown jewel wiki. Um, but So now Triple H, or Sean, has to, has to work this. And you can tell that it obviously wasn't supposed to be that way. I would imagine Triple H was supposed to work the majority of this, and Sean gets in, gets the pop, does his stuff, you know, hot tag here and there, you know, all all that kind of shit. And now he's just grinding in there. And 27 minutes this match was. Oh God. <laughs> okay. And, and, okay. And when did Triple H get hurt? I would say eight to ten minute mark. Oh, why would they do that? Yeah. Cause here, cause they don't have to go that. Like, I'm not saying end the match immediately. And it but... was a long show anyway. They didn't need to. Like, well, they fill aren't the, they all? They didn't need to fill the time. I think if they cut it at ten to twelve minutes, you still would have hit your. They could have cut time. it at twenty. Yeah, and it still would have. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't understand. Like I said, they, I don't. Well, you know, you had extra time since the uh, universal title match went three minutes and fifteen seconds only. Sure did. Yeah, we won't. We don't have to talk about that one though. Sure you don't want. Um, but yeah, so but it was crazy. Like you could tell, Triple H is hurt. Um, something it all feels wrong. Tri- Sean's in there forever, and you're like, it's one of those novelty things where you get to see something that's a surprise. Like you weren't supposed to be in there wrestling with Sean, but you're right. you're still in there doing it now. You, yeah. Like, now you guys are getting to the spot where he's going to do a moonsault from the top rope to the outside. And I'm like, you're supposed oh. to have, you're supposed to have fresh legs for this. Now, right, right. what are we going to see So it was on here? Sean. It was on Sean. Oh, absolutely not. It was, it oh, wasn't okay. the smoothest moonsault, but he didn't under, like, he didn't go like two inches. But they just chose not to catch him. They just did a very shitty job of catching him. Um, yeah. So I hope well, Undertaker got yelled at because he likes to yell at people that don't catch him. So right, eat shit. Um, yeah, but yeah, so that match was a clusterfuck. The like I said, the first ten minutes, like it felt good. It was like a greatest hits. They were doing a lot without doing anything because that's what you're supposed to do in professional wrestling. And then it just fuck kept going, and it just turned into a shit. Just turned into a shit. Man, I don't well. And and they're they're doing well. No, Triple H is hurt, and so I'm not happy the man's injured. But it sounds like they're gonna have to get rid of some plans. Yeah, Batista will wrestle somebody. Oh sure, but I mean, oh, it's gonna I, be Randy Orton. It's gonna be some sort of evolution oh, thing. You know what? I'm okay with that. 
because my WrestleMania philosophy is I'd rather the two I know who it's rather, gonna be. I'd rather the people I don't care about wrestle each other in a match than they wrestle separate matches against two people I do like. I'd just put them all in one match, and then I can ignore that one match, and I can focus on the people I care about. I'm gonna make just just two guesses because if you guess the whole roster, if what the fuck's the point? He's right. either gonna wrestle. Um, who the fuck did I just say? Orton. Orton. That makes sense. <laughs> or, and this also makes sense, and he's going to wrestle. Daniel Bryan. No. Oh, Although okay. I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Shawn Michaels. Yeah, it, yeah. Is, uh, how, is Shawn going to be doing more? I think so. Mm. I think so. He's, he's, I... he's getting a lot of good feedback. He oh, looked okay. look good. Except he's bald now, and I don't like it. Yeah, that. it's very weird. Like he only he surely does have a good year. Two I tops. believe it. It's like if you're gonna do any shit, do it now. Just do it now. No, I believe it, and I believe the matches will be okay. So I'm kind of I don't like that he came back. I don't like I don't, it at all. It was so I don't, good. Yeah, right. And I, okay, I'm not mad at him. Take the money. If oh, they're going to give you the money, take yeah. the money. It's fine. And so like, I'm not criticizing him for doing it because I get it. I just kind of wish it wouldn't have happened. How much? I didn't need it. I didn't need Sean to come back now. If he had come back like five years ago or something, maybe. But even then, I, I didn't need it. I don't. I don't need more Shawn Michaels, and I don't want I it. I definitely, I definitely don't need more Shawn Michaels against all the guys he wrestled back in the day. Yeah, I would not mind Shawn Michaels against some of the newer people, the guys he didn't wrestle. What but if do they, I want to see? What if they did Shawn? Because you know he's in PC. What if? What if he did? What if they did Shawn Michaels versus Velveteen Dream? <laughs> That's <laughs> wouldn't that be fucking amazing? It would. <laughs> That'd well, be fucking think, amazing. Because I, I don't want to see Shawn Michaels and Dolph Ziggler. Go fuck no, yourself. I don't want to see Shawn and Daniel Bryan. What about Shawn and AJ? Because that's the I dream match. I do want to see that. But do you want to see 53-year-old Shawn Michaels against AJ? Yes, because you can have a good match and tell a very good story. And you've, it, okay. it's all a gunslinger, old man bullshit. Let's I go. I agree. I think it'll be... It's it's that reverse uh, Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair thing, too. Yeah, mm. I think it'll you know, and, and I actually think if if Sean's coming back for WrestleMania, that is what I think the match is going to be. I don't think they're going to waste him on Batista. And I, I, I think, but I think Batista versus Orton make give, make Flair the ref. Do that. Go oh, ahead. Jesus. Do your evolution thing, and then Flair can do sh- some shenanigans and hopefully not die in the ring. Yeah, these guys. But, you he's got to die in the ring though. Yeah, that's true. He's well, that make it a it WrestleMania mania. moment. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because well, I because I think AJ. Like loves Shawn Michaels, the way Shawn loved Ric Flair. Like everybody, right. loved, every, every wrestler of that era loved them. Some Shawn Michaels, they're a big influ- a big influence. Of course. So like I think like that's what you that's what you got to do. And WrestleMania is four, three, four months away. Just fucking do it, and then then get him out. <laughs> so okay, so say you have Shawn, and Shawn's like, I'll do a run up to up up to Mania. You got to do the Daniel Bryan match because you know. He, he trained that Daniel Yeah, do, Bryan. do a little greatest so, hits farewell do, tour. I'm, you know what? I'm okay with that. Um, it, it, but Can't I just don't want to. I don't mind that. I just don't want to see. I don't want to see Sean versus Undertaker again. I don't have any interest in seeing Kane do anything again. Now get out of here. I don't. So fine. Do maybe set up the thing. Sean and Daniel Bryan at Royal Rumble. Although I think they're gonna probably have. Brian in a title match at Mania, but um, I guess I'm tired that. of Daniel. I've talked about him before. Are you? I'm Are you tired of him? It. I'm done with it. It's 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 he's yeah. the D, he's D, he's Dean Ambrose and Dolph Ziggler now. Oh, don't say that. It's the same shit. It's it's do this. It's the same match every time. Sure, I'm, yeah. I don't even know if he's still a very great like wrestler because I haven't seen it in like seven years. So right. sorry. Um, like even like AJ, AJ somehow, even though he does a lot of the same moves on you know, every match, it's still impressive and fresh feeling, and he's just so fuck. And he's, I don't know, man, that guy's not that good. Nakamura feud. No, he no, didn't have a single good match. No, 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 no. Yeah, who's Nakamura fighting? He's feuding with AJ at the Survivor Series. It's AJ Nak. Oh fuck. No, is it? No, no, it's, it Seth. Was... it's Seth. It's Seth. It's Seth. 
Yeah. It's oh, because they're doing yeah, robbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate that. I I hate, I, I hate when they lie like these political ads. Where it's like for the you know the one time a year they do this. Right. And I'm like, it's they, like no, they just you. did it at Crown you Jewel. Assholes. <laughs> they did it at Crown Jewel. They do it at Royal Rumble. They do it anytime they want to do it. <laughs> they're fucking advertising this before the finals of the Crown Jewel World Cup, where it's literally <laughs> Raw versus SmackDown. I know. Yeah. Fucking assholes. And by the way, Raw versus SmackDown doesn't really matter. You're all in the same company. Company and it, you switch brands. It's enough. always felt that way to me. I it's know. never felt separate. No, it. They, they shouldn't do. They shouldn't do co-brand. I know why they do it. I'm not like it's all money. All the things they do, it's because they think they're making more money for it. So fine, I get it. But creatively, you shouldn't have the pay-per-views where both brands are on the show. You shouldn't have the same entrance and set for both brands. Yeah, the ring. You shouldn't. All that you got to light it differently. Use different colored ropes. I don't think they do different colored ropes anymore. Have I like so back in the day when the SmackDown wrestler would wear a blue shirt and the Raw wrestler would wear the 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 stripe, the black and white stripes. The referees even look different then. Like you got to make it look different. Yeah, it's, you got to make it sound different. You can't have Corey a, Graves on both shows just because he's your only good announcer. It's such a lazy, shitty company. I know. Except 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 all the stuff that's only on the network. Yeah, the stuff I all can't of that watch. stuff. Is amazing. <laughs> the stuff I can't see 205 Live is great. NXT is great. NXT UK, I think, is going to be pretty good. I'm trying to get into that. But we'll, all, we'll, all we'll, the yeah, give British them, give them the some time. Because I, I, I just saw the card for NXT Arrival, the very first NXT thing. I was just yeah. like, oh, God, Bo, I'm, like, Bo Dallas is headlining and shit. Yeah, but Bo <laughs> Dallas was great yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in NXT. And you, but you, you look at them now. You look at these NXT right. shows now, and they're fucking super cards every time. Yeah. And you, I think NXT UK is going to be like that. Now, so. Well, yeah, and you know, I got to get a chance. You know, a few of the people. You know, Tyler Bate and Pete Dunn fucking and Trent Pete Seven Dunn. and a few couple of the women. But a lot of it, they're introducing new characters. My problem is, like, every UK guy is like a bearded, yeah, barrel chested, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like they're all old so tidy. <laughs> right, right. It's like they're all they all kind of look the the same right now. So I'm giving them a chance. Um, I don't have a problem with that look, but I don't need eight guys who all have like a beard and a hairy chest and like they kind of look like they work out, but right. they don't. They definitely aren't doing crunches. So I, yeah. I, I'm, but they also Tony Storm is on the UK brand. Tony Storm. So I am all in on that. Yeah, this arrival card. Dale, the Ascension face too cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember the Cesaro. Because that was amazing. What was it? And Paige and Emma. Uh, Cesaro and Sami Zayn. Ah. That opened the show. That was oh, two yeah. minutes. And the Paige Emma match was like, that was when it was like, hey, the they revolution. have women who are really good. That was like that was when yeah. the revolution began. But yeah, because I think, I think I, yeah, cool. that's good. Because I think that Cesaro Zayn match. I think that might have been the first time I saw the Sami Zayn dive through the ring post tornado. Oh, the DDT. DDT. Yeah, and right. I was like, yep, I'm here. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. Now, was that the match where he did it? Because they had like three matches, two or three, and in one of them. Because Cesaro is the strongest human being alive, he like I, th I think he caught him. He either caught him or uppercutted him. Oh, uh, I think he uppercutted him. Might have been. I think, in, yeah, I don't remember. I think it was the upper because you know they obviously they built one match off the other. Yeah, so he's and, countering you know, now. Did it, and then he and then in the next match, Sammy went for, it, and I think he countered it with the uppercut, and yeah. it was gross because Sammy's flying through there full speed. Did he ever? Did he ever catch? Like, because he dives through the the corner, mm -hmm. and he, you know. Did he ever catch him at, like and do it like in a suplex position? I feel like he maybe he did that. I I God, I don't know. He should because he's strong. Oh, he could totally do that. He's a strong man. Yeah. Remember, remember, remember no. Cesaro yeah, and Sami yeah, Zayn yeah. being important. And Daniel Bryan, they're all the fucking same. It's gar oh, I I feel bad for him. I do too. I feel bad for him. Well, I mean, part of the reason they're the same is because they're all on every show wrestling the same match. Yeah. Like tonight's Raw, you you got my message with tonight's Raw, the the, the, the announced matches, right? Yeah, Riot Squad against the other <laughs> women again. And yeah, what and was the other one? That, uh, Balor and Lashley for I think the third week in a row. Oh, is it? I see that. Yeah. Actually, I was gonna say that that's a fresh one, isn't it? But because I'm no. not paying attention, I just want Lashley, Lashley. I, I gotta be honest, I love that. I love that shit. 
I, 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 did I don't you fast notice. forward through Lashley anymore because Leo Rush is great. Even <laughs> if he's got the, yeah. Did you even notice? If he has the earpiece in. Did you notice? Oh, you didn't watch Con Jewel. He was there. No. Lashley was yeah. there. Okay. They lost first round. Um, so And Leo Rush comes out with him, and he's like, oh, Lashley's so strong. He's going to beat this guy. And I'm thinking, these people are going to kill you. <laughs> you need to, and you know what he didn't do? He didn't talk? He didn't talk. He, oh. did, he did a little intro down the ramp. But right, he didn't, right. He didn't, he didn't do any talk ringside. The whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, they knew. <laughs> they would have <laughs> fucking killed him. Eventually, they'll probably drop that. No. Because he's going to do it until they, they turn Lashley face and they fight I each other. Why would they turn Lashley face ever again? Nobody cares about him, but you can kind of get people to hate him. And I think he can be a good heel because look at him. Uh, like he's Impact the did perfect it. Imp- uh, MVP. Yeah. When MVP and Lashley and whoever where they had a stable, MVP was very good at putting Lashley over as a so you monster. Need- you need a mouthpiece for Lashley, which obvious we we've known that well, for a decade. Yeah, well, and right now they have and, a heel mouthpiece. But if you get right. you get somebody who's just like this guy, is Cesaro strong times two? Like you like you just like MVP did a very good job of building Lashley up, making him seem yeah. legit, even though he's the worst wrestler I've ever seen. Well, he's terrible, but he also isn't interesting. Like, you don't have to be good no. in the ring. You don't have to be good in the ring. He looks like a ninja be turtle stink. behind under the animatronics. Like he looks. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's bad. He's like terrible. he's he is. And I'm wondering. Okay, so I don't. You haven't really been paying attention to Raw, but in like the past three or four episodes, Apollo Cruz has come out and done the thing. By, just by himself, not with Titus. Like he's challenged the guy, or he'll he'll lose. He lost to Elias. He lost to Dolph. Huh. But he's he's like coming out. He's talking a little bit. He's coming and since he out. looks like a, like a squished down version of Lashley, yeah. Are they gonna do something with those three? Yeah, they're gonna do a super shredder thing. <laughs> like like is like it like is is Bobby Lashley gonna like get split in half and Apollo's gonna jump out of his body and it's gonna be like a smaller version? They're gonna or something? they're gonna bring Kevin Sullivan and the the lead. What the fuck? The Doom Squad. The, the Dungeon the of Dungeon Doom. The Dungeon of Doom, and they're gonna fucking. <laughs> <laughs> gonna turn him into Bobby Lashley. That's how they should have debuted him. Oh, that would have been fucking great. It's like now right. I'm just, see, you said Ninja Turtles, and and now now I'm just picturing Lashley as Krang with Leo Rush in his belly. Oh, that's good too. That's, yeah. Oh, if I had artistic skills, I would draw that. That's yeah. beautiful. Oh man. Um, I want this, wrestling to be good. Me too. Damn. Let's make it all good. Some of it's good. Jericho, I watch a lot the, of good. The Jericho crew sounded fun. Yeah, Impact and the supposed stuff to be he's good, doing. But I'm you see the thing watching. where they announced his match versus Naito for yes. Wrestle Kingdom, and he's like, "Nope, like, <laughs> I'm no. not doing it." No, didn't and he they... put up a picture with like his, with X? him crossed out. Yeah, yeah. isn't it? Th- wasn't that his first? Didn't that, is that how he got the title? Like they've wrestled before, is, is what I'm saying. Yeah, and I, you, you know, know I'm not I, fully following it, but yeah, I think, and it wasn't a great. It was good. But he just had a match against Evil at their mm-hmm. show this weekend, and people are saying it was fucking killer. I'll Much have to better. Check that out. Yeah, I'm going to check that out too. They say it was fucking great, and I believe it. Um, but Jericho's 100 years old, still doing this cool, crazy shit, which you can't have him wrestle guys. That I don't want him wrestling Evil again. Get new guys every time. Oh, because he only has so much time yeah, left, uh, yeah. and there's all these guys he needs to. Unless it's Okada or Omega, no, no. Yeah, I'm, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a couple where you might want to see the second match, but yeah, yeah. like Let's him see and all like the Tanahashi, because Tanahashi's like their their rock and roll guy. Just yeah, like air but he's kind of yeah. lost a step, and he's kind of well, not talked about anymore that much, is he? Mm. Like, I don't, I don't see his name. All, like, he's Taking a step back, right? A little bit. I mean, he's wrestling Jay White at Wrestle Kingdom last year, so. Yeah, he fucked Jay White over bad. <laughs> fucked him over bad. Here's your debut way, I, against this old man that's. Yeah. He's old. I, he was, and he was hurt. In, I've Jesus. heard people say good things about Jay White lately, and he's I'm. Is he? Yes. His pro his post match oh. promos because you know they get in the locker room and they have the photographers and little press conference setups, which is brilliant. And he's so yeah, good. I like they're, they're quick little, like, 90-second, you know, out of breath, bleeding like, promos. And right. they're so good. And they always – they what they do is they lead to something else, you know. 
okay. sets up a next thing, or maybe wow. maybe so the, Jay you know, White's good. I'm, his I, I, I still hate the finisher because it's the Bray Wyatt finisher. But oh, okay, you know, whatever you know. It's got a cool yeah. name, Sling or not the Sling Blade does whatever. He's killing it. He's killing it. Um, well, that's an upset. I did not. I didn't think there was anything there no, when I first saw it. Nobody him. did. Yeah. They but they 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 did. They sent him out. Well, they, yeah. It, and then you he know, came I back was, and there was a big push. Like they they thought they had something and those things. I, right. I'm not surprised he got good at wrestling because he's in New Japan. He's working with all these great people, and they're not going to keep him around if he's garbage. But I'm surprised he isn't lame. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm surprised he's interesting. Or like you said, he's got he's a good promo now. And That's I, think, a I, I think the part of it that works is that he does look like a goober and a child trying to be a badass. But he's just like right. you're not really a badass, but you're quite a manipulative cunt. Oh, and okay. It, well, that, I like that's an interesting character. Yeah. So yeah. I like that if that's he plays it, doing. pulls it off. Yeah, because okay. he's he's breaking up stables and shit. He's, he's oh, he's, I like that. Yeah, he's tearing shit apart. How many Bullet Clubs are there now? Yeah, seventeen, I think. Now, yeah, Bullet Club I, I remember, Wolfpack I remember and the Firing Squad that lasted like a day. Yeah, I the love Latino, the name of it. Firing the Squad. Latino Bullet Club and the yeah, yeah, Bullet yeah. Club B Team. Oh, poor bastards. JD, do you have yeah. any plugs? We've been talking for too long. No. Oh, yeah. We Wow, we do that. No, I don't have any plugs, though. My plug would just be follow me on Instagram, at Dale Zawada. I don't do Twitter anymore, really. I have an account. You can follow it. You'll never see yeah. me post anything. Yeah, don't follow it. me on Twitter. No one should follow me on Twitter. Twitter sucks. I hate Twitter. It does. I mean, I'm looking at Twitter right now, but it's terrible. It's I. You know what Facebook I use it for? Facebook is bad too. I, hmm. The only thing I use Twitter for, and it's not even like, oh, I like this artist or whatever. What are they up to? I use their search function to see like what's going on. Like if a game is crashing, oh, okay. I'm like, let's see what people are saying about Red Dead Redemption. And, yeah, you know, that's a good way. To, that's, yeah. Yeah. So they use it as like a quick news source. Otherwise, it's it's terrible. And Instagram is yep. fun because it's it's pictures, and I like that. I like pictures. <laughs> a lot easier than words. So this is episode 44. JD, thanks for being here. Yep, and I'll probably see you next week because I think Jim's going to be on phase 7 for quite a while. Yeah, phase 17. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's the episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Jay White. And I'm a crown jewel. <laughs>